All right, today we will be tackling another uh, pretty difficult Dave Matthews band song on the guitar. And um, I'm gonna try and get this done in as little time as possible, but, but still try and really uh, dive into finger placements. You know, that that's gonna be really important on the song. Uh, it's kind of, you're all over the place up here. Um, but again, it's just one of those one of those songs just takes a lot of practice, um, but if I can do it, anybody can do it, I promise that. And um, and I really want you to, to pay attention to what fingers go where. Um, you know, I've, I've said that on, on most of my videos I've done, because it's so important with these uh, with these songs where your, you know, your hand, your, your, you know, your fingers are moving all over the place and everything. So uh, I'll touch on that as we get into it. But um, so uh, so the first the first note uh, is going to be up here. It's going to be your fourth finger up here on the fourth fret E string, and then we'll come to the sixth fret A string with your middle finger, and then we'll have pinky finger down here on the D string on the eighth fret. I want you to. I want you to use your middle finger right here, okay? You don't want to use your, your ring finger because it's easier to stretch. You get a better stretch between these two fingers here than you do with your pinky and your ring finger that would be right here. So that way you're, it's going to keep you from buzzing strings. Okay, so you just hit those top three strings. Then you take your pinky off. We're just going to move uh, your forefinger and your middle finger down one string, each one of those, still on the fourth and sixth fret, you're on the A and D string. Okay. And then moving on from that, you're going to bring your pinky up here to the eighth string, I'm sorry, the eighth fret E string, and then we'll come down here to the D string, fifth fret with your forefinger. And then from there, we'll be going uh, middle finger. I want you to use your middle finger right here on this one. Uh, we'll be hitting the uh, E string, sixth fret. And with your pinky, I want you to come here to the eighth fret A string. Okay, almost there through this whole this whole little uh, intro riff right here um, and so uh, so you'll be going from all right so you're gonna go from that eighth fret take it off with your forefinger come down here to the fourth fret all right, and then we'll come up here to the uh, sixth fret and we'll be on the D string and then the last note of this sequence is going to be right here on uh, the eighth fret E string. So I'll play that through slowly for you. Okay, and that's where he stops uh, there in the intro. Um, whenever you hear, you know, whenever you hear the guitar stop, that's where he stopped right there is on that, that fifth fret uh, D string. So moving on to the chorus. The chorus is quite a bit easier. Um, there's still a pretty solid stretch to it, but uh, let's get right into it. So again, uh, just like the just like the verse and the intro. We're gonna be starting off with that four finger on the fourth fret. And then you'll have a uh, ring finger on the D string, sixth fret, and pinky on the G string, uh, sixth fret. And we're gonna slide up, so you're gonna hit that. You hit that top string. You can take it off. And you slide it up there. And then I want you to bring this, this uh, your 
uh, four finger right back down here to the A string on the sixth fret. Okay, so that's when it's winter's cold. Winter's cold. And so when he says cold, you come back down here. It's the exact same chord as what you're using up here, except you're strumming it. You're going to be on the uh, A string, fourth fret. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, A string, fourth fret, the uh, D string, sixth fret, and it'll be down here on the G string, eighth fret. And you're strumming that. Like I said, I know that's a stretch, but just sit there and strum it, work on it, uh, and eventually your fingers kind of uh, kind of stretch themselves a little bit to where it's not as it's not as painful. And then, uh, so from going from there, you're gonna take this four finger, keep these two fingers the same. You're gonna put it right here, uh, E string, sixth fret. Then from there, you're gonna take you take these fingers off. You're still keeping that pinky on that same G string eighth fret. Then we're gonna smash down. You're, you're uh, on the the sixth fret. You're gonna smash with the the fatty part of that finger right there, and I'll scoot up for you so you can see. Okay, that right there. You're smashing down the A and the D string right there on that sixth fret. Okay. So all of that together for the chorus. And then um, before we get into the, um, I want to touch on something really quick before we get into that bridge uh, where he sings, rest high above the cloud. Before we get into that, there is, uh, you're, you're going to go back into playing that, uh, that intro and that verse. But there is, <clears throat> there's a transition that goes into the rest high above the clouds um, that he does a little bit differently. Um, that, that's just that transition in, into that. So, so we'll go. Okay. So the only thing, what I changed right there is you're still going, still just like the intro. Okay, then when you go from the eight to that five, then you're gonna come up here on the E string, you're gonna go six, eight, and then on the A string, you're gonna climb up four, six, eight. And that's right before it goes, uh, it goes into rest high above the clouds, so. And then you're gonna mute. And uh, he mutes before, uh, goes into uh, the rest high above. So rest high above the clouds, uh, which is what I guess we'll consider the bridge for this song. Just your basic, just a basic bar chord right there. Um, we are on the fourth fret, uh, fourth fret E string, and we're gonna be on uh, the sixth fret, sixth fret on the A and the D string. And then uh, your middle finger right here is going to be on the G string on the 5th fret, okay? And then we're also barring this right here. So you want that finger to pretty much be down on every string. Okay? Then we're going to keep that exact, we're going to keep that exact same, uh, we'll keep that exact same shape. And then we'll come down. We're going to come over and down. So we'll go over one fret, down one string. From there. To there. Then you 
you take your middle finger off, you're not barring it anymore. All we're doing is coming up here, we'll be on the fourth fret, A string, and then uh, ring finger, pinky finger, we'll be here on the sixth fret on the D and the G strings. And then we'll come up here, and I'll show you the strumming pattern of how, uh, how he strums that specifically. But all you're doing is bringing that same shape right up two frets to six, eight, eight. Six, eight, eight. So rest high above the cloud. Okay, so pretty straightforward up until he just does that little stop. Just the song, the song finishes up on the the same as the uh, you know that same little run as the uh, as the intro and the verse. Uh, I think I pretty much covered everything on this one. Uh, like I said, this is just this is just kind of one of those songs that you're just gonna have to sit there and kind of go through a little bit of hand and finger pain. Um, but you know, just kind of work on just you know getting some stretches and you know really just just going through just do that as many times as it takes until you really get really get it down as I've said in in most of my other videos uh, one of my biggest mistakes that I used to make was trying to move on to the chorus or move on to something uh, that if after or before I really needed to and you know I want Perfect that intro, perfect that verse, and then kind of move on to the chorus and everything after that. Um, it'll keep you from getting too too frustrated. It seems to help me out a little bit. But um, any other songs you wanna you wanna hear or uh, uh, learn, uh, just let let me know in the comments. Subscribe, and uh, I'm just gonna. This is only maybe the third or fourth tutorial I have up on here, so uh, I'm gonna try and get them all up on here as as soon as possible. So uh, whatever you'd like to, to learn, just let me know. And hope this was helpful and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.